What is up, y'all? Cheeseburger TWR is back for another cheeseburger review. Round 26, fight. And yes, we are back for a rapid fire, blap, blap, back to back. On a Sunday, here we are, the greatest racing day of the year. Uh, we had the Monaco Grand Prix this morning, won by Sergio Perez of Red Bull. We had the uh, Indianapolis 500, won by Marcus Erickson of the Chip Ganassi Racing Team. And the NASCAR Coke 600 is due to run in about an hour, hour and a half here. This is one of my favorite days of the year, 1,262 miles of racing uh, consecutively, all of it, I love it all, I will watch it all, and what have you. So, fittingly enough, I did go to, I, I always say the same stupid stuff all the time, I ordered from, I door dashed from NASCAR Refuel, and uh, I believe this is a ghost kitchen, but I've never had it before. I didn't do enough research, um, but uh, they did go ahead and customize the bag here for me. As you can see, the branding is fantastic. It looks really good. Uh, you know, we've got the, the JC Penny bag that's, you know, all dressed up. It's almost a rich uncle penny bag, if you will. So go ahead and discard this. Uh, I do want to note, I've never had this place. I did scout it a few months ago, but when I did, uh, I took a look and they had more uh, themed burgers. I thought they had like a, a Michigan burger, they had like a Kansas burger, and they, they had a Charlotte burger, I believe as well, which is where they are racing tonight, Charlotte Motor Speedway. Uh, again, Coca-Cola 600. And uh, I went and looked uh, this past week and they didn't have any of those. So I don't know if they changed the menu up recently or if I was just imagining things or what have you, but um, before I go ahead and show you the box, I did get a Darlington pimento cheese sandwich as well. I thought it was going to be like a grilled cheese or something. Literally pulled it out, ate half of it. I, I literally could have gotten it from like a Kroger or a Meyer, or a grocery store, like even a gas station. Like it was on white bread. It wasn't toasted or anything. There was just some kind of pimento cheese spread on there and... I mean, it was decent, but, you know, I'm not paying $6 for, you know, something like that. But, so, I, I don't know what to expect from this burger, but we'll see. This is the classic cheeseburger from NASCAR Refuel. Again, the branding is fantastic. Just look at this thing. Uh, you know, logo on the side. It's got all the NASCAR colors and what have you. So, just good stuff. The A plus on the branding. I guess the, the Ghost Kitchens have that down pat. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this thing and see what's up. It's got a nice little handy package here. And uh, we'll go ahead and take a look. It's, it's very firm, I'll say that much. And like, it's pretty bad when you're checking the top bun to see if it's mold or if it's old. It feels kind of like firm and old and what have you. Uh, I'll go ahead and unbun this for you. It looks a bit of a mess, if I'm being honest. So, we've got uh, ketchup and tomato and a little bit of lettuce there. And it looks like uh, we've got some 400-day-old cheese. And uh, beneath that, we've got some ants and onion and lettuce. So, pretty much L top, but I don't see pickles on there. I'm not saying there aren't pickles on here. Again, this is the classic cheeseburger from NASCAR Refuel. Wanted to do it just to, uh, you know, for the the huge racing day that today is. It's like, you know, if I was going to do this restaurant uh, any day, today would be the day. And uh, I'll go ahead and take a couple bites, two chomps to you, and Alonzi. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Mm. Mm. I might take a couple more bites here, but this burger is like beyond burnt and it tastes like everything on here just like tastes old and not very good. And I mean, look, the bun is humongous and the patty doesn't really like match up. It's like, it's kind of like the old, where's the beef commercials, which I believe I was alive for, but I never saw them. So it doesn't exist. One more bite, I guess, begrudgingly. <laughs> I don't mean to show my hand here, tip my hand, tip my hat even, tip my hand. It even kind of smells like a dirty wash rag. Um, or else they like, I'm not gonna sugarcoat this, or like they cooked it I'll probably finish this. I can't guarantee that. Probably the first time I can't guarantee I'd finish this, but um, ah, it's like they cooked it on a carburetor in the engine or like they dipped it in the oil pan and they threw it on the grill and they said, here, it's like a very bad dad backyard barbecue and I did not think I was going to make a mess everywhere, but I did not think this was going to be um, an unranked, but this is unranked. This is foul. This is garbage. I will not have it again. Again, I'm not sure if I'll finish it. It's actually leaving like a weird taste in the back of my mouth, dude. Just everything tastes old and like, I don't... <sighs> I don't know what's going on here, but uh, uh, I was wanting to be satisfied here, folks, but I wasn't. But if you are satisfied, and I certainly hope you are, thanks for joining me on this journey here. Um, if you did like this content, go ahead and give me the thumbs up, but we don't just do thumbs up here. We do Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Ho! Oh! Smash that like button for me. Uh, go ahead and comment. Let me know what you think if you've ever had this. Uh, God willing, I hope you didn't. But subscribe. Uh, go ahead and jingle the bell for notifications so you'll get uh, more notifications and notified. And if I can't say notify enough, uh, it will let you know and notify you when I create more content. But, uh, yeah, again, unranked, first unranked burger it was like seven bucks and I, I felt like, you know what I felt like eating this? That episode of Seinfeld where Kramer's eating that sandwich, like he makes that mile high sandwich at Jerry's uh, apartment and like he doesn't have Dijon mustard on it, but he takes a bite of it and like he puts it down, takes it out of his mouth, puts it on the plate and immediately says no and he won't eat anymore. So that's kind of how I feel here. And, uh, I mean, if you guys have had this, let me know what you think. Uh, did I get a bad burger? Is it just not good? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, just meandering on here. This is where I leave you. Thank you and take care. Enjoy the rest of your holiday weekend. Take care. Bye.